This video is on two brand new Sony front projectors, the VW915 and VW715. These models replace their very popular VPL VW695 and VPL VW895. If you want to read the full review on these new projectors, click on the link in the description to be taken to our written review on audioadvice.com where we further break down the differences between these new projectors and the ones they are replacing. Now let's get started. Almost all of the same great features we loved on the 695 and 895 remain, but Sony has made some massive improvements to the video processing on the new units to give even better HDR picture quality than ever before. I'll first go over the upgrades with the new VW915 and 715, then I'll get into the technology that makes them a great choice for a serious home theater. First, the big news on the VW915 and VW715 centers around improving the HDR experience. Many people may have not even heard about HDR and not know why this is a huge deal for projectors. Stick around to learn why. HDR is short for High Dynamic Range. This technology actually came from digital photography where it was an effort to improve the contrast between the blackest blacks and the whitest whites. The goal of HDR is to ultimately deliver a better picture that is more lifelike. We feel it's actually as big a jump as we saw going from high definition to 4K. The list of movies and TV shows using HDR is growing rapidly with almost all new movies incorporating HDR, plus both Netflix and Prime Video have tons of HDR enabled content. HDR gives us a better picture by enabling us to see much smaller degrees of changes in brightness. With SDR or standard dynamic range, for example, a snow covered field may look like one seamless white area, but with HDR, you can see the fine highlights and shadows and levels of white. Colors also show more super delicate gradations and become more richer and lifelike. Basically, everything just looks more natural with HDR. You would think this would all be great news for all of us home theater enthusiasts who love our huge movie screens, but it turned out to be just the opposite for front projectors. With HDR, there's metadata embedded in the video stream telling the display how to handle the image. These instructions are assuming the video display is capable of a certain amount of light output. Light output is measured in foot lamberts or nits, with one nit being the light output of a single candle. The HDR content that commercial movie theaters receive is based upon a very specific nit spec of 106. This is a light level almost all consumer home theater front projectors can reproduce unless the screen is just super large. The commercial HDR content never asks the projector to deliver more light output than the projector can produce. Unfortunately, consumers cannot get this type of HDR content. HDR for consumer products is based upon a range of nits from 1,000 to 4,000 and in some rare cases up to 10,000. Most HDR enabled consumer televisions can deliver this level of light output or close to it. Front projectors cannot even get close with most able to produce the light output in the range of 100 to 200 nits. This means when the metadata from the HDR content tells the picture to get really dark, it's assuming really bright is up to 4,000 nits and really dark will still be bright. But the result on a front projector is just a super dark picture that's not even close to what the video producer intended us to see. It's like the industry ignored their biggest fans, which are those of us with large movie screens, and dumbed things down for the larger audience of flat panel television owners. When HDR first hit the market, all of the projector companies scrambled to redo their software to help fix this issue, and as a result, HDR tone mapping came about. HDR tone mapping tries to deliver all of those delicate highlights while maintaining enough brightness for a great experience. Some projector companies lean towards showing more highlights, which results in a darker image, while others shift more towards a brighter image and reduce the level of highlights you can see. Those that lean toward the brighter image are actually moving the picture away from HDR and closer to SDR. Okay, now that you see the potential of HDR, but the complexities involved, it's time to talk about how Sony attacked this with the new VW915 and VW715. This year, for the first time ever, Sony's using their famous X1 processor in these two new front projectors. 
The X1 processor allows them to do much more with the HDR signal and make use of a brand new technology they call Dynamic HDR Enhancer. The X1 processor also looks at each object in the frame to improve clarity and reduce noise. As each frame of the video content travels through the X1 processor, it's analyzing every single part of that frame to determine which contain dark and light levels. What the Sony Dynamic HDR Enhancer does in simple terms is to enhance the bright areas and then the dark areas pull down the black levels beyond what the HDR data is calling for. To do this on a frame by frame level takes an extremely fast processor like the great X1 model Sony modified for use in these front projectors. Both the new 915 and 715 have this system. What really excites us is the Dynamic HDR Enhancer is not just fixed at one level. There are three levels of magnitude, which means you should be able to apply this to your screen size and screen gain. Those of us with very large screens and less nits will likely want to set it on high, whereas people with smaller screens will probably prefer the lower medium setting. For those of you working with audio advice on your theater, we will do the calculation for you and set it up correctly or tell you which setting is best for your situation if we're shipping you the projector. Ideally, we would like for Sony to have a way to input the actual foot lamberts or nits of an individual screen and have the processor adjust this based upon the data. But for now, this is going to be a huge leap up for HDR content. And the new X1 processor will also offer vast improvements on non-HDR program material as it's much better at upsampling the signal to 4K than the previous version. If you dive deep in the menus on Sony projectors, you will find all kinds of performance enhancements. We'll go over a few of our favorites here. One reason we love both of these models is their ability to give you the true widescreen movie experience. Both have motorized lens shift, which means you can purchase a movie theater like 240 widescreen and zoom the image to fill the whole screen, then zoom it back down for regular 16x9 TV content with just the push of a button. This gives you the full movie theater experience in your home and trust us, there is just nothing like it. It goes without saying, both the 715 and 915 use true 4K panels to give you all the glory of a 4K picture. When these panels are developed by a company that makes almost all of the 4K cameras used in film production, you know they are not just sufficient. They are fantastic. Motion Flow is a Sony tech that has been around for a while, but it's amazing how well it works. On many projectors, when the scene moves really fast across the screen, you can see jerkiness or stuttering of the image. Motion flow totally eliminates this stuttering of the image. Nothing bothers serious gamers more than signal lag. Both the 715 and 915 have input lag reduction to put them close to even the best computer gaming monitors in terms of reduced video lag. Now let's take a look at each one to point out the differences as you move from the VW715 to the VW915. The VPL VW715 model uses a conventional lamp-based system for the light engine and is capable of about 1800 lumens. Sitting in between the lamp and the lens is an advanced iris system that works in conjunction with the X1 processor and its dynamic HDR enhancer. This iris can change the amount of light output to optimize both HDR and SDR content for better contrast. As more projectors go into living rooms, Sony decided to make a white finish option for the VW715 this year along with their traditional black finish. We see the 715 as one heck of a great value. With all of its great picture technology and the ability to do full widescreen, it will probably be the best selling model in the Sony projector lineup this year. If you remember the original Awesome Powers, you remember the scene, fire the lasers. At Audio Advice, we're huge fans of laser based front projectors. There's just something about the color reproduced by a laser light engine that looks more like real life. You also gain the advantage of a light engine that can give you a great picture for close to 20,000 hours versus the typical lamp-based projector that needs a new lamp about every 1,500 to 1,800 hours. As you might have guessed, the VPL VW915 uses a laser light engine. The VW915 produces more light output than the VW715 with a spec of 2,000 lumens. With the laser engine, Sony uses what they call a dual contrast control to work with the dynamic HDR enhancer for better contrast. The VW915 also has a digital focused optimizer for an even sharper focus picture. Sony saw the VW915 being used in dedicated home theater rooms, so black is the only color choice. 
For most people, the VW715 will be a fantastic projector. On typical size screens around 150 inches diagonal and below, it will be amazing. The quality of the image should make your jaw drop. However, if you have the funds for the VW915, the picture will be even more stunning. We would love the look of a laser light engine and think it does bring you far closer to a real life than a lamp. With its improved light output, you'll be able to use a bigger screen as well. If you go with the VW915, you'll be grinning ear to ear every time you turn it on. We work really hard to make sure our customers not only get great product, but it is also set up in the best way possible. When we install the projectors from one of our stores, we calibrate it in the field for you, or for audioadvice.com purchasers, we email out you an optimized setting preferences for most setups. If you're in the early stages of planning your theater, go over to audioadvice.com and use our free 3D home theater designer tool to build out your theater. It will show you where to put your seats, speakers, screen, and more. If you are considering upgrading your current projector or have questions, Call or chat with us at audioadvice.com or swing by one of our Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina showrooms. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to our channel so you never miss the latest home audio and home theater content. We'll see you next time.